Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Right now we're on board the McLaren P1. Now obviously the P1 has a 3.8 litre twin turbo V8. It's good for 727 horsepower. You can probably hear that going on behind. It's pretty cool. But this car has a little trick up its sleeve. It's got a technology derived from the McLaren F1 side of things. So a development of curves, if you will, they have in the cars and it can run completely in E mode. It's got 176 horsepower from an electric engine that literally can be turned on at the press of a button here on the dashboard. And there we go, engine stopped. You get a completely changed visual screen. It literally only now shows us power usage alongside the speed. Obviously it's gone eerily silent in here. You can tell that engine's not running behind us. Oh, that's a, a trippy experience. The range in, on electric mode, about six kilometers of charge available to us at the moment. But this is a, uh, now, an electric hypercar. Performance figures in this mode. It's got a top speed of 99 miles per hour. It takes nine and a half seconds to get to 62 miles per hour if you were driving from a standstill like this. That's quite something. The last thing you expect in a car like this is a feeling of well, tranquility. Yeah, it's good for a few miles. Chris Goodwin says that if you were driving around a track and running the uh, both simultaneously, the electric power gives you that extra torque. And, uh, it will never run out, it will continue charging more than you can run it out on top of the petrol engine. But I think we should uh, kick the engine back into life. Just do it by pressing, pressing the button again and it fires back up and uh, off we go. So um, that's quite incredible. The whole car is quite incredible. That's just one of many things, so uh, obviously a big thanks to the owner for letting me uh, try this. I love that noise. A few more videos with this car though, so make sure you're subscribed to me 150 and check those out. But that's it for now, I'll catch up with you very soon. Cheers. It's fitted with a 3.8 litre twin turbo V8. Get this fantastic dial showing what the car's up to. I'm going to show you the outside.